All right, I'm gonna show you how to do examples A, B, and C from the notes. Those are all about finding the cube of a number, and a cube is just a number times itself and then times itself again. We call it this because the way you find the volume of a cube is by multiplying one number by itself and then by itself again. Just like we called a square based on the area, we call a cube based on the volume. Um, it's pretty similar to exponents and squares. It just, the base tells you the number and then the exponent tells you how many times you multiply that number. So in this case, we would do one half times one half times one half. You could put it in your calculator like that or you could have put it in your calculator at this step. Again, I don't have one of your calculators, but I am going to show you the Desmos one. So you could press the fraction button, one half, and then you're going to raise that to the second power, or to the third power. Right here, it gives you the answer in a decimal. We don't love that. If it gives you a fraction, we want a fraction answer. So go ahead and press that, and you should get one eighth. So if you don't have a calculator at home, that's a good option for you. Here, the same thing. You could just, you could break it down and say that that means negative seven times negative seven times negative seven. Or you could do it at this step and put it in your calculator. Make sure you put it in parentheses like you see in the question. Looks like their negative is the same thing as their minus sign. Negative seven raised to the third power. I will also make a video on how to use all of your calculators as well with all of these things. And that does give you negative 343. Okay, and then the final one is 10 to the third power, which is 10 times 10 times 10. Or if you put in your calculator, 10 to the third power should give you a thousand. And that is that. I will make another video for the next couple of questions.